You always hear that Stonehill has that small, tight-knit community feel, and it sounds cliche and corny, but it's really true. I mean, I'm just walking down the path, and people say hi to you, even if you've never seen them before. You just start to develop relationships right from the beginning, right at some orientation, and then throughout your four years here, you meet some of the best friends that you may have once you leave here. Any club or anything that you get involved in, you feel like you're part of a family, and it's a community within your friends, and with the professors, and the faculty, and the staff. High school students should come to Stonehill because they're going to know their professors and they're going to have a relationship with their professors that you're not going to be able to get at a lot of other schools. The fact that Stonehill is a small school as it is really gives us, the students, an opportunity to meet with our faculty one-on-one. -on -one. The faculty really get to know you. I think what's distinctive about what Stonehill offers to students is the kind of engagement that faculty have with them. Every student has different learning styles, different ways they want to learn, they do learn. And because we know them so well, we're able to tailor education to fit the strengths of each student. I'm constantly adapting exactly how I explain stuff for exactly what I use with the, each individual student. If you're not challenged, you're not doing it right, you still You really need to challenge the students, but then you provide all the support necessary that they can meet those challenges. The professors never really just throw you an assignment and tell you to do it. If they're challenging you, they're going to be there to help you with the challenge, if need be. I love working in office hours when you get to see what kids got in class and what they didn't. They can come to you and say, I don't understand how this happened, and you can really work with people and push them to that level where they know what's going on. You're never really there feeling alone. They're always there to help you out with it. Uh, the vibe on campus is, uh, I would say it's upbeat, whether it be the beginning of the year when everybody is on campus and the welcome back week happens and there's a lot of events going on, or whether it be finals week where you know that everybody's cramming to get that's the last study hours in before the final. What you feel is kind of what the community feels as well, so it's not like you're alone in that feeling. I like to keep the door open in my room so people are always walking by saying, hey Rob, want to go play some disc or throw a ball around, and there's a nice balance between your studies and your friendships going outside and just relaxing. I've definitely found different groups of friends with different interests and different passions, so I'm friends with a lot of athletes and artists and people who are just passionate about different things. It's just a wonderful community and a great environment to, to live in and to study in and to have fun in.